benefits, and I think you will too. So I'm going to let Wendy go ahead and give you all a little sneak peek, a little preview into what she is planning to share with all of us on Tuesday. And then at the end, she's going to go ahead and give away a free gift because it is, in fact, Free Gift Friday. So thanks for tuning in, everybody, and I'll see you guys next time. It's Thank all you, yours, Wendy. Dr. Davia. Everybody give Dr. Davia some love and a round of applause for everything she does for this community. We love you. Well, thank you guys, everybody, for being here. And um, I wasn't surprised about the connection or trying to get on Facebook or here. I must have, I, I've come to the conclusion that I have a magnetic personality. And so it oftentimes uh, brings in the delight of technology. As you can see right now, even my screen is going in and out and that's fine. We're all good. So welcome everybody to this edition of Ladies Power Luncheon, um, Free Gift Friday, as well as The Takeover. And um, for those of you that don't know, my name is Wendy Lee. I'm the CEO and founder of Lead Hership Revolution. And I, in that, I am a transformational life coach, um, also an author, done a couple of books within this group with Dr. Davia and Liz, um, a speaker. And then I have all kinds of other things in my life that I love to do. So as a little sneaky peek, of what's gonna be happening next Tuesday. I've been getting a lot of information, not only from myself, but from people that I've been talking to recently. And this whole notion about hustling healthy um, came about because I was re-emerging. Um, how many people sometimes go into a cocoon? Yes. And then we re-emerge. And when I was re-emerging, the first thing that came to my heart was to reconnect with other people. And so I started calling around, started calling some of my friends, some of my uh, people that I work with, some of my past coworkers. I, um, you know, just how to connect because I knew how important that was. And I would, of course, inevitably ask, you know, either how are you doing or what's been happening? And there was two things that I noticed would come up over and over, right? And it was not really answering the question, but in a way it really was answering the question. So I would ask, how are you doing? And one thing that they would say is, do you want to guess? I'll give you a second. Okay, no more suspense. One, I'm so busy, right? That was their first initial reaction. And then the second thing was um, good. And I'm also feeling very uh, stressed or overwhelmed. Like I can't keep up with everything. And I thought it was very interesting because that was definitely my complete MO when I was in the corporate world. Before I started Leadership Revolution, I was the head of human resources and I had worked all my life. I knew how to do the hustle for sure. And it worked. I got a lot of promotions. I got a lot of responsibilities. I got to move up the proverbial ladder. And it was a good experience. And I didn't even realize until really years later that I was really sacrificing my time, my energy, and my well being for this hustle. And I just came to a conclusion that maybe it doesn't have to be 24 7, <laughs> maybe there can be somewhere in between right? Because let's face it, sometimes putting the pedal to the metal and getting things done, that's part of um, having a good business or um, creating a life and a living that you love. Those are all parts of it. It's when we stay in it to excess or we give so much of ourselves, are you nodding your head? We give so much of ourselves away that our well-being, our health, our mental well-being um, takes a toll. So what if there was kind of this in-between state? So first of all, I'm just curious, and you guys can um, sh surely pop into the Facebook page of how does that resonate for you? Like, do you feel like sometimes you're so busy that you can't connect, you can't do things that you like, you feel overwhelmed? And where is that really coming from, right? Because as we know, if we're in this space and a lot of people are leaning into the self-development, there's usually something that feels familiar about staying in that hustle and grind and staying so busy, right? That we don't ever slow down. There can be a couple of reasons. It depends on what is happening in your life and what's happening, what has happened in your life. So I want you just to kind of relax in a little bit and ask yourself that question, honestly. First of all, where in your life do you find that you're hustling to excess? Meaning you're having some of those um, responses that aren't so healthy. Is it in your work? Is it in your personal life? Is it in your relationship? Is it with your kiddos? Is it with your significant other? Is it all of the above, <laughs> right? It might be all of the above. 
And that's perfectly okay. And we're going to talk in detail about that on, on the Tuesday show. But what I know for sure is that we get into these agreements because it's a pattern that we've become familiar with, right? Maybe growing up, you weren't, um, you didn't feel like you were validated or seen or heard. And you created these, I call them gymnastics to be seen, to be heard, to feel like you're valuable. And you might've done that at the uh, betrayal of your own wants and needs without even knowing it. Because when we're younger, we don't have that ability to kind of figure that out for ourselves. So ask yourself, where does that feel familiar? And where is that rooted for you? Because when you can get to the core of that, there might be some things there that are kind of asking to be seen and heard and loved on because there's no judgment here, right? This is all compassion. We're going to have some compassion for ourselves. And what happens is that when we get into these cycles, uh, we're responding to what's happening in, in our life and we're doing it the best way we know how at that time, then sometimes we change who we are in order to make things easier or make it easier for other people. Have you ever done that? And there's two words that often come up in this conversation. And I am in recovery of both of them, right? That's people pleasing. And what's the other one? Perfectionist, right? Mm -hmm. Those are really the core of those two things that, that kind of can catapult us into the unhealthy side of, of hustling. So people pleasing is just putting other people's needs ahead of yours at the expense of yourself. And perfectionist is it has to be all exactly right and perfect or else it's not good enough or else I'm not good enough. We have those feelings, right? And those two things are 1000% response triggers. They're not really who we are. If you think about it, when, when we start off in this world, right? At the very, very beginning, we, we act and say and do in a way that gets our needs met, right? When we're little bitty babies, we might cry so that we can be held or fed or have our diapers change. Um, have you ever um, witnessed a, a toddler? They know very well how to ask for what they need. They're learning the tactical way of doing it. So it is innate. That is who we are. But we're also getting our basic needs met from our caretakers. So in that, if we're not getting what we need, we're going to automatically shift and change so that we can do that. So this is all a natural cycle. And when we get to be mature in our self-development, we can make choices that say, I don't know if I really want to continue to do this or not. Who's feeling that? So how do we go from the 24-7 the in the constant, I mean, our nervous system is getting a workout for sure, grind and proving and trying to do it just the right way and getting other people's approval. How do we go from that and still wanting to make that impact in the world, make the mark on the world, make a difference. Because I know if you're here, you got a big old heart, right? How do we go from that to doing it in healthier ways? So I'm going to give you a few little sneak peeks, and then you can certainly um, tune in on, on Tuesday for more. And all of this, by the way, I've learned by through the school of hard knocks, right? Because I've been able to live both sides. And when I first discovered this, it really was about learning and understanding feminine and masculine energy, which everybody has, whether you're a man or a woman, whether you identify as a man or a woman, we all have these traits available to us. For me, I was a lot of the times, most of the time in my masculine energy. So I was the giver. I was the provider. I was the producer. I was the prover. I was the getting it done person. And I really was not so nice to my feminine side, which is the receiving which is the intuition, which is the compassion, which is the um, learning how to go with the flow. So when I first grasped this concept after going to a transformational retreat, which completely changed my life and being introduced for the first time in a space with a transformational life coach, again, something I hadn't experienced before that retreat. What I realized is that I was way heavy in the masculine and not in the feminine. So guess what I did? I went from super duper uber masculine to whoop, way over here in 1000% dripping from head to toe feminine. And I was just flowing and going everywhere. And I was just going to receive everything. And I needed that. I needed to do that to recalibrate recal myself. 
but there was some things that weren't getting done. <laughs> I wasn't having some forward motion. I wasn't taking some action. And so what I have learned is that there's a sweet spot kind of in the middle. And sometimes when I'm working on a project or I've got something that's going, yeah, I might get a little bit more of my masculine and get that done. And other times when I want to recenter and reconnect, yeah, I might go a little bit more heavier in my feminine. But generally speaking, it's about finding that balance. And you find that balance through creating boundaries, first of all, right? What are the boundaries for your life? What if you are the boss of your boundaries and you got to decide what comes in and what comes out? Yeah, thank you everybody for joining us on Facebook, by the way. What would you do if you were in full authority? Which by the way, you are in full authority, but sometimes it feels like, oh, Wendy, you don't understand my situation. I've got all of these other responsibilities that there's no other way that I can do but give of myself. In fact, if I don't do it, who's gonna do it, right? That's the perfectionist talking. That's the need to please and to take care of everything. That's getting in that cycle of I have to, and that creates the victim of circumstances. But what if indeed you were the boss of your own boundaries? Do you know your nose? Like, do you really know um, how to say no to the things that don't light you up or that you really don't want to do? And do you know how to say yes to the things that do light you up and add value to your life? So if you could get really good at the boundaries, know that you could have the access to feminine and masculine energy, and then lean in and take responsibility, learn how to respond in a way that's best suited for yourself first. Yes, I said it here, ladies. Selfish is self-care. It's not being selfish. It's being selfish. So think about that a little bit as we go on today. And um, I'd like to um, invite you guys, first of all, of course, to continue to be a part of this community. Uh, what Dr. Davia has created is mwah, superb. We love it. We love her. We love this community. There is so much goodness in this community. And if you're interested in starting to get a little bit more connected with how can I hustle more healthy, but it feels like scary or vulnerable, which by the way, vulnerability is an awesome feminine trait. I get that. I completely understand. So I'd like to offer for you guys to get a free guide to how to leverage your vulnerability in order to have a successful and you fill in the blank business, life, relationships. And you can get that at leadhershiprevolution.com backslash vulnerability. So I really appreciate everybody's time today. I hope you got some nuggets from here. And if you would like to continue the conversation with me, feel free to do that. You can reach me at leadhershiprevolution at gmail.com. And in fact, if you send me a message today, um, I'm offering, besides the free gift, a discounted um, code if you want to get on a one-on-one. -on -one. Like if you want to get on a one-on-one -on -one discovery, you know your life is here. You'd like to hustle less and get some more healthier ideas. And let's look at what's coming in the beginning. So send me in the middle of what's creating that gap. Send me an email and I'll be glad to schedule something with you at that discounted amount. So thank you guys so much for being here. Dr. Davia, we love you. Uh, and continue to follow all the goodness on Ladies Power Luncheon, and we will continue to move forward, okay? This is Wendy Lee on behalf of Ladies Power Luncheon. We hope to see you inside the group. Get connected, collaborate. Oh, got a drink. Collaborate and connect with people. Be well. Much love. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.